Clotting describes the process of forming a thrombus in the body to maintain hemostasis, and we modified this process with clogs. It begins when the vascular endothelial cells are damaged, portrayed by the window cells broken, which exposes certain cellular and tissue components. Platelets respond to the exposed collagen and stick, just like the plates stuck to the spilling cola gems in the image. This creates a clump in the area of cell damage. Then, the platelets release recruiting factors, which are typically ADP and von Willebrand factor. Think of them like a plate releasing recruiting flaggers. After detecting these recruiting factors, more platelets are attracted, allowing for much larger clots to be formed if needed, pictured here as the plates attracted to damage. Next, soluble fibrinogen turns into insoluble fibrin, portrayed here as a fiber jam that solidifies to fiber. These are cross-linked to solidify the blood clot. Then, fibrin seals the clot, shown by the fiber seal covering the clog, and endothelial cell repair occurs. Once the repair is finished, the blood clot dissolves, allowing blood circulation to return to normal. Picture this like the clog falling apart. Fibrin activation is a result of the liver producing many of the clotting factors that participate in the cascade and sealing of the blood clot. So, it's like the liver dumping clogs to start this whole process. Let's recap. Clotting begins when the vascular endothelial cells are damaged. Platelets respond to the exposed collagen and stick, then release recruiting factors to aggregate at the site of damage. Then more platelets are attracted to the site of damage, which allows the clot to form and grow in size. Soluble fibrinogen turns into insoluble fibrin, then fibrin seals the clot. Once the endothelial cells have been repaired, the clot dissolves. Lastly, note that the liver is the main contributing organ in clotting as it produces clotting factors. You know things got a little out of hand last night when you wake up to a giant clog in your kitchen window. You begin to recall the window cells being damaged when your friend threw his drink at the window. Cola from his cola gem went all over the place, but at least there were some plates nearby to stick to the cola, which keep it from leaking everywhere. Well, almost. There aren't enough plates in this kitchen, so a plate left to release the recruiting flagger. You vaguely remember him waving his flags around, directing more plates to the damage. And that's about when your buddy decided it was a great idea to spread fiber jam all over it. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our circulation and basics Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from hemoglobin, whole blood composition, coagulation cascade, clotting overview, blood types, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.